Hello friends, my name is Richie from Social Shinigami, and today I'm going to be continuing the kind of mini-series, if you will, on explaining uh, things about me. Like yesterday, I tackled the sexuality thing that has been kind of trending on YouTube for a little bit. Faggot. This guy is obviously gay. And today I'm going to be answering the question slash questions that I get literally the most by like 95%. I get it at shows, I get it in person, I get it on the internet, I get it literally everywhere. Why do I dress like this? Why do I, why do I choose to look like this? Why do I dress like an emo goth transformer? And the number two question is how long does it take me to get ready every day? And the answer is about 30 to 45 minutes. So bam, there you go. And that is if I'm wearing pants. So let's start off with a little bit of exposition, shall we? Social repose has been a thing for about five and a half years now. Holy shit, that's a really long time. And it was definitely not like this in the beginning. I was a small bean, a little emo kid. I had the long emo hair. Uh, I was I was just starting college at the time. And I just started this little music project in my dorm room where I just made little tracks. I was going to school for music production, so it was a good way to practice. And I called it social repose. I played shows pretty frequently under social repose. It wasn't a YouTube thing, it was strictly a music thing with the occasional vlog to let my non-existent audience know uh, that I wasn't dead. I played a lot of house parties. It, it was it was actually pretty fun for what it was, although it was very frustrating because I spent so much time and effort on it. And I felt like I just wasn't really getting an audience and I wasn't particularly happy with the music I was creating either. It was like synth pop. So fast forward three years to about 2014, still doing it. My parents are getting even more angry at me because I Obviously, um, trying to be a professional musician is incredibly scary because you don't make any money off of it. And I was about to graduate college with a film degree. My parents were getting very worried that I was just going to live with them forever and ever and I was going to be a failure. I never kind of submitted to that idea of just like, oh, like I'm not making enough money, I need to give up on this and, you know, fuck my dreams. I, I kept going with it. Honest to God, uh, it was really hard for years and years and years. So, 2000, mid-2014, around summer, rolls around. I decided I needed to make a drastic change if I wanted to keep doing this. I, I, I felt like I wasn't being creative enough. I had so much more potential. I just wanted to get it out there, man. So, I thought to myself, I need a gimmick. A gimmicks are so important, whether you hate them or you love them. A lot of people kind of have a stigma around having a gimmick, but if you point out any band that you know, no, all of them have gimmicks. So I looked at one of my favorite artists at the time called Dead Mouse or Joel Zimmerman. Sure you've heard of him, EDM artist. Uh, he has he wears a giant mouse head on stage. Everyone knows him for it, uh, arguably more than his music, although I absolutely love his music. So I said to myself loudly in front of my computer when no one else was watching, <laughs> I need something like that. I need I need either like a hat or just a, uh, something that I wear or something that people will remember me by and that's where the headdress came in. I think one of my friends linked it on Facebook or something and I went, that is striking. I like that. And uh, so I ended up ordering a custom black one because I'm an emo kid and I kind of just ran with it from there with kind of the whole Black Veil Brides makeup thing. And in the beginning, a lot of people accused me of kind of stealing from Andy Beersack and the whole old Black Veil Brides look. My name is actually Richie. I make music under the name Social Repose. And I totally understood where they were coming from when my YouTube channel just started taking off. Um, I did kind of look like I was in Black Veil Brides. Um, but then over time, I got crazier with it. Uh, I got a lot more robotic. Uh, light up shit. I got my wings on top of all this other stuff that are totally unique to me So a lot less people accuse me of that now, which is great I love having my own unique style and it kind of turned into a hobby of mine So it wasn't just all at once. I just one day I decided to be the fucking Goth moth and just just transformed into giant wings and shit It happened over a span of about two years up until you know from 2014 to now so essentially it was a slow build but there is no specific pin point reason why I dressed up. I just kind of found something and ran with it and I, I, I love being unique and having fun with your appearance. Whenever I see artists have amazing awesome music or create things that are amazing but they look boring and their presentation is boring, it really does take away from their music. I almost see that as a wasted opportunity so I never want to waste a single piece of opportunity with my music videos or my original music or my covers or even just the way I present myself and the way I look. So that is why I dress like this. And I'm sorry if I creep either you or your parents out, alright? I don't mean to. 
This is just how I dress, all right? And also, I'm going on tour in November and December with Say We Can Fly, Johnny Gilbert. Ticket links are in the description below. Uh, it's, it's a US slash Canada national tour. Real excited about it. Okay, well, I hope you have a good day. Stay sad. Yay.